Hello, Sagittarius. This is you versus them. This is for the 7th through the 13th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone. But if you're interested in a personal, that information is below the video. Please hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. And um, that will be greatly appreciated, you guys. Huh. There's somebody trying to avoid making a decision um, regarding a very deep connection here. This is Gemini energy. Um, I also feel like there's someone here wanting to fight for a connection. Okay. And there also may have been a lot of fighting in the connection, which is probably why they are trying to, you know, avoid uh, making the decision, even though they feel this strong pull towards a person. Okay. Somebody is defending also someone here and it's possibly against other people, naysayers, what have you. All right. Let's see what's going on for the other person. Somebody's fighting this ending. Somebody's also fighting change. Okay. They're not wanting something to end. But it's almost like they are not um, willing to give in. They're not willing to change how they do things. You know, their behavior, I feel. Scorpio energy. We also have air over here as well, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what you guys want. Hmm. I feel like a lot of you are really just wanting to not be bothered. Um, it's like you're trying to close yourself off to to love at this point. Um, a lot of you are fighting this feeling that you know you have for someone, someone that you view as really special, but it's like you're you're trying to not address this situation. And here you are again, you know, really not trying to address the situation. But this major arcana here is a strength. So whatever it is that you are probably feeling prone to do, which is fight this connection, strength is act is really um is wanting you to fight that that beast is like fight what is um fight what is easier for you to do have the strength to do what is actually challenging you this is what this is saying okay so you're actually being challenged to address the love that you share or the love that you have um with and for somebody okay that needs to be addressed as strength um, lays right on top of the lover's card. There's a need. Some, something needs to be addressed here. But I feel like you are trying to fight actually addressing what is going on between you and someone else here. Okay. Let's see what the other person wants. They want you to come towards them. They want somebody that's strong. They want somebody that they can have something with, that they can work on something with, build something with, because this is working up on building. But it's like, you know, they, they are waiting for the other person to approach, to talk about, you know, what it is that you guys have invested into this connection. Um, the feelings that you have, the time that you've spent, but the emperor does not move. The emperor waits for people to come towards them. 
because they sit on their throne and they they rule nations so this is also a very stubborn individual they do not want to budge again we see that here because they do not want this relationship to end but they also really do not want to change either so that's a bad combination all right so let's see what you guys need To turn around and address whatever issues that you need to address. I feel like um, wh whoever's on this side, whether this is you Sagittarius or whether this is a person that you are actually thinking about. There was somebody that walked away. Okay. But there's also this person needing to turn around and address their feelings. Because there are feelings still here. They may not have felt that way when they left. Okay. We go from the four to the eight of cups. This is somebody actually needing to go back and address issues. Okay. Turning around and facing those issues. All right. That is what this is. That's what the need is. And that is why also this person is not budging because whoever's on this side was actually the one that walked away, that left the connection. And so if both of you are being in this very stubborn mode, which the Four of Cups is a very stable energy. So I don't feel like um, this person is, is coming towards the other person. Okay. And maybe this individual left first. Maybe this person is just very stubborn, just not willing to change. You know, maybe this person was always the one that went back or tried to make things work. So when this person walked away, it left this person no other choice but to walk away, do the same, but also take their energy with them. Okay. So this person over here is feeling that you know, the other person is moving on. And I truly feel like this person is trying to move on because their cards are facing out of the reading. Okay. This person is facing the other person. So I strongly get that if anybody is going to come back, it's going to have to be the person that initially walked away. Not the person that was forced to leave the connection behind after the other individual walked away. So again, Sagittarius, this could very well be you. Or the energy could be vice versa. It could be switched. This could be, on, be you on this side. So you guys know your situation. So you choose the side. Just listen to the situation, okay? Let's see what the other person needs. There, there's a couple of things that I'm getting here. The first thing I get is that this person needs to address the issues surrounding why this person feels how they feel. And it could have possibly involved a situation where there was a third party energy, whether it was intimate, whether it was somebody in their family, whether it was like children involved, coworkers, whatever that means. There is an issue here that needs to be addressed. Okay. Also, for other people, this is this individual addressing their own hurt because you have not come back to try and reunite. Okay. I feel like Aries is here, Cancer is here. Okay. Pisces is here as well. But they are brokenhearted because this person has not returned to reunite. And the other person is possibly moving on in their life in general but possibly moving on with someone else as well okay 
but there are definitely issues that need to be addressed surrounding hurt, disappointment. Um, there's some truth that needs to be spoken here. This Ace of Swords, because each of you has a stake in this broken heart. So there is something that needs to be addressed here regarding either a three-party relationship that this individual possibly was involved in during the relationship. Or this is involving reuniting with the other person. Okay. Could possibly also, like I said, be the fact that this person is feeling like um, this individual individual was possibly involved in a three-party relationship as well. Or is currently dating. Okay. Let's see if um, someone else is involved for you guys. Hmm. I feel like there is um, possibly a relationship that is um, blooming here that is probably in the initial stages. And because it requires a lot of work, I mean, relationships require a lot of work anyway um, to make, you know, to so they could have success. But I think when you're initially starting out, there's way more weight on your shoulders um, because you're actually trying to get to know someone. OK, so there is I feel like something starting here again. This is an Aries card. This is Sag. OK. Let's see if someone is involved. There we have the two of cups there. Huh. They're in love with you, Sag. This is Sagittarius card. They're in love with you. They're wanting, you know, they're wanting their relationship back. This time they want it to be different though. They're wanting it to be different. I feel like this is something you d you definitely share between the two of you. This love. Um, there's just a lot of hurt here, I feel. I do see that, you know, even though there is a possible blooming relationship over here, there may be a point in time when you guys actually do reunite down the line. Not sure when that is. Okay. But very possibly it could be like five, six months, you know, who knows? But I do see that energy here because we have the eight of cups right here. And, you know, even though there's a new relationship here, this we have a two of cups over here on this side. So it's almost like, you know, coming back to this connection at some point, if not you know, in a relationship, but just coming back together, maybe to reconcile some differences here, addressing some issues with this three of swords energy. Okay. This person really wants this relationship. They do not want this to end period point blank. Okay. Let's see if it's likely you guys will reunite. Hmm. I feel like if the truth is really out there, that this definitely can be worked on. So this is a yes. This is a hard yes. For me. This is a hard yes. But there is work to be done. Okay. Hard yes. Time is fluid. It could happen between the 7th and the 13th that you guys speak. Um, but it may take a little bit longer. Because I feel like this is a very stubborn energy right here. So, you know, and, and you're just like, I think you're over a lot of things. Um, there's going to have to be truly open and honest communication for this thing to get off the ground. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out your reading. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. And I think that's for a lot of you... Um, 
a lot of you Saggies, more so on your side, because I think, you know, your trust has been lost with this individual and there was a possible third party relationship going on here. I don't feel that now, but there, there was something going on, whether it was intimate or not. Okay. Some interference. All right, my Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you guys. And I will speak to you soon. Bye now.